create Brevo subscriber from Google form submission automatically. So if you also want to sync your form submission data with your favorite email marketing software like Brevo or you can say send in blue then this video is for you because here I will show you whenever the form submission is received how the same data can be created as a subscriber instantly and automatically in Brevo. In this way you do not have to manually export the data and import it here in order to send the emails to your customers and clients. Want to learn how you can do that? Come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the basic inquiry form I have created in Google Forms and this is the dashboard of Brevo. And in order to automatically send the form submission data to Brevo, I will have to connect these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user, so I am already logged in in Pabli Connect. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, firstly click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. I have directly pasted the name as create Brevo subscriber from Google form submission. Now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes. So these boxes are called as trigger and action. Okay. And here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So when something happen in the first application, then automatically do this in the next application. Okay. So this is how you need to select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation. Okay. Okay. So now according to our use case, whenever any new form submission is received in this Google form builder software. Okay. So let me tell you in place of Google forms, if you want to sync the form submission data of other form builder software with other email marketing software, you can do the same by simply selecting your favorite application here. Okay. And now in the action, even I will select that create Brevo subscriber from Google form submission. Okay. So I have already selected Google form in the trigger application and now I will select a Brevo in the action application okay I'm really sorry for the spelling okay so I have selected both the application in the trigger and the action window and now the idea here is I'm going to connect both the applications one by one with the Pabli connect okay so let us first connect Google forms with Pabli connect okay so firstly I will select the trigger even that is new form responses received and as soon as I have selected the trigger event it has provided me a webhook URL and few set of instructions. Okay, so with the help of this webhook URL only, we are going to connect our Google Forms with the Pabli Connect. Okay, and now where exactly we are going to paste this webhook URL? You will have to open the spreadsheet that is already associated with your Google Forms. Okay, so you will have to go to Responses and directly click on this View in Sheets, and this is how whatever the spreadsheet associated with your your form will be open up and now here you will have to click on this extension and then further we will add the webhook URL okay but before we add this URL in my spreadsheet firstly I will make a dummy submission so that any data should present here so that I can show you how the data of form submission or we can say that how the data of spreadsheet can be sent to Pabli Connect okay so let us make a dummy form submission so let me preview this form and now with some dummy details only I am going to submit this form okay so assume that the name of the person is demo the last name of the person is user okay instead of demo I think I should change this name something like dummy okay so I have changed dummy user asking for the email address okay so I will write something like dummy user one two at the rate pably tutes.com okay again I'm sorry for the spelling okay asking for the phone number so again I will add some dummy phone number only all right so I have added a 10 digit number what you want to design okay so I'll select some random choice let's say restaurant or cafe okay so as a user I am about to submit this form and firstly of course this detail will be captured in our spreadsheet okay and now I'll come back to Pabli connect and firstly I'll copy this webhook URL and with 
the help of this webbook url only we are going to connect our google form and public connect okay so firstly you will have to click on this extension click on add on click on get add on and here search for the public connect webbooks add on all right so i'm searching for the same that is public connect webbooks okay so you will notice that this add on is already installed in my account because i have created lot of automation using this okay but you will always have to firstly install this add on because once you will install it you will have to open the same add on by clicking on extension and here exactly you can find the same add on okay so simply click on this initial setup button initial set up option and this is how a box will open up okay so here exactly you will have to paste the same webbook url which you have received via public connect so let me paste the same asking for the trigger column so first to read the instructions the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that to data will be sent to the webbook url okay so basically it is asking to provide a column name on the filling of which this automation should trigger or we can also say that the data of this spreadsheet of this google form should be sent automatically to public connect okay so in this particular case i want that whenever the data is added up to f column whenever the data is filled in f column this automation should trigger okay so i have clicked on send test button and you will notice that the test data sent successfully and here are the details okay so clicking on submit and let me first close it and taking you back to my public connected dashboard and here you will notice that the response is received and it is the same form submission data the same spreadsheet data okay let me even show you the details one by one here the choice we have selected was restaurant and cafe the trigger column is f here we have the timestamp here we have the spreadsheet name the spreadsheet id the sheet name here we also have the row index and we have other details also like the phone number of the person the first name last name and email address okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between google forms and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit this form the details will be captured via public connect automatically and instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time but for that you will have to enable a very important option okay so click on this extension and make sure that the send on event option should be enabled basically this tick mark okay this will ensure that every time Time the data is getting added in this spreadsheet that data will sent automatically to public connect okay i'm repeating this thing once again make sure that this option should be enabled if you want that data of spreadsheet should be sent to public connect automatically and another important thing i would like to tell you here is whenever you are connecting google forms or google sheet with the pabli connect make sure that either you work into the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in at the same time into a same tab okay i'm repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in at the same time into the same tab okay so this is how our first step of of automation is done moving further i am going to send these form responses to brevo okay so the application is already selected and again i am telling you in place of brevo email marketing software you can send your form submission data to different email marketing software as well you just need to select your favorite email marketing application okay but for now my topic is to show you how subscribers can be created in brevo from From Google Form submission, so I'll stick with the same. Okay, in action event because I want to create a contact, so I'm going to select the same. Okay, so where is that specific action event? I'll have to search for that. 
okay so this is the create or update a contact now just like we have connected google forms and pabli connect now i am going to connect to brevo with the pabli connect for which it is asking for the domain and the api key so the domain is already added that is api.brevo.com asking for the api key okay so simply read this instruction or you can directly click on this particular hyperlink so this is the smtp and api section and here you will have to click on this api keys and this is the button simply click on this generate a new api key provide a random name okay so how about i provide the name something like test new key okay and click on generate and this is how the api key will be generated instantly okay simply copy that and paste it here in the pabli connected dashboard click on save and this is how your brevo account will be connected with the pabli connect and once you will be connected you are connected it will ask you lot of details which are actually required for creating a contact okay so i am going to provide the data only into the mandatory field only into the important and required fields like the email address okay enter the email address of the user okay so here you will have to add the details from your previous step response okay but interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste below in below step okay so basically i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down simply select that data and this is how it will be mapped and what is the importance of this mapping whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay and in the same way i am going to provide i am going to map other details also okay so i have successfully mapped the email address the first name the last name okay and in case you want to provide this information also you can do the same you can collect that information from your google forms in case you want to create any custom field you can collect Collect that information from your Google Forms. Okay, so coming back to Public Connected Dashboard, and now finally I'll click on this button. But before I click on this button, I will firstly take you to my Brevo account. Okay, and here you can notice whatever the email list are available inside my Brevo account also started visible here. Okay, so I would like to add these new inquiries, the inquiries coming from my Google Forms in this specific email list that is new inquiry. is okay so that is why i'll go with the same okay and now finally i'll click on this button but again i will first open this particular email list and you will notice that there are no contacts available here clicking on this button and then waiting for the response to receive here and did you notice that the response is here let me refresh my brevo account and i'm really expecting that the contact will be added here okay so did you notice that the same person with the same first name same last name has been added has been created as a contact in our brevo email marketing software okay so in this way you can sync your google form submission data with brevo email marketing software automatically with the help of public connect and in order to automate this whole process you need to create this automation inside public connect for once after that you can sit back and relax because public connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own public connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free to the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that to for free and let me tell you whatever the details i have mapped here will replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place but if you will provide any value manually that value will remain same for every form submission data for every subscriber okay so this is the difference in between providing the values via mapping and providing the values manually
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabbly Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabbly.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabbly Connect and for the latest updates of Pabbly Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.